Aguada, City of Umbrellas, two-player game, Finny Rob over here, Finny Mom over there. I will be playing as blue. She will be playing as pink. That's purple. Purple. We're already at odds. We start with two monies each. We're going to be choosing umbrellas off of these rows diagonally. We're going to be placing them onto our board, scoring using tourists and we're going to be making murals to score points. At the end of the game, if you have six of these flipped over, you get six points. If you have five, you get four, and if you have four, you get two total points. You're also going to score these objectives. Do you wanna go ahead and read those out? Score one point for each column that has three different colored umbrellas with one of those umbrellas matching this color. During final scoring, choose one of these two colors, then choose one row Score one point for each umbrella in that row that matches that color. So you pick a color, you pick a row, and then you score. So you're gonna choose one of these rows diagonally, and if you take the single one, you get a coin. If you take the two, you don't pay anything. And if you take the three in either direction, you have to pay a coin, and coins are only used for that purpose. Take, uh, pay one and take these. Alright, so on your turn, you're going to. Oh, I don't know why this is out on the board, this section. Uh, on your turn, you pick umbrellas, which is what she did. It cost her one coin because it was three. Then you're going to place the umbrellas in one of the rows. Then you're going to update the mural. mural. And what that means is that if you put something on a paintbrush, you flip over the corresponding tile. And once you've taken the second one in the pair, then you move this tourist up to your board and they're available immediately. All right, now you get to choose, if you wish, a tourist or two tourists to put down here. If you put one, you're gonna pick one color and score one point for each of those in the row. If you put two, you get to pick both colors. I put both of them. Both of them, so you can pick both orange and purple, and you get three points. Okay. And then that is the end of the turn, and you refill the bag, you go top to bottom, left to right. The game will end when somebody fills up every space on their board, then the other player will get one more turn. You lose one point for every empty space on your board at the end of the game. Okay, there's no reds out there. There are greens and oranges. All right, I'm gonna start by paying a coin Taking these three and place them in this row. One, two, three. So I filled in a green paintbrush. Flip this over. And I could put two down, I will. Put them both. Score three points because I get to choose each color. Score one for each umbrella. That's three, so we're tied. That's it. And if you can't place or don't wish to place a tourist, uh, either because you're out of them or there's no space over here, you have to take a break, which you'll see how that works. You basically reset your guys. All right. So that costs you nothing and you don't get anything. All right, so yellow is unlocked on the mural. Yeah, 
score one. All right, she's choosing yellow, so she gets one. All right, and we refill those. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't put any more on that row. Purple and red, there are no reds. All right, I'm gonna spend, well, no, it doesn't matter. You can put more on that row, you're just not gonna get to score anything. That's true. But I'm about to have to take a break soon. And so these are gonna move, which means I can't score them. So I need, might need to diversify. You can pre-score them. I could pre-score them, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab these two. Uh, well, the stinky thing here is if I do that, then I'm going to be not getting this for one of those two rows. Getting what? Orange? Well, because they either you're, want to score orange. I know, but I'm saying you're going to, it says you're going to pick a, pick a color. So if you picked orange, you're only going to pick one row of your board and you're going to score all the oranges in that row. Oh, I see what you're saying. Or you're saying. going to pick blue and then pick the row that you want and you're going to score all the blues in that row. Okay. Well then I'm going to do that and I'm going to, but watch, I'm going to, I don't understand where you're going. That orange and green is about to move because yeah, but if I can't put it in the row, so I'm going to have to just, that's going to get you a new mural turned over and a new guy, right? Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to play down here. I'm not going to get any points now, but I'll place this here and I'll place this here. This flips over, right? And now because I can't fit any more in that row and these really can't score, I will take a break. So these come back. Yeah. Oh, I also, yeah, get this back because I completed that. So I get those. And now what happens is this slides down and comes up to the top. So now I will be able to score in the future, but also I'm not getting this bonus because that you only get if it, you have one and then two different ones. Oh, right. That's what I was talking about. Oh, right, right, right. It, it only loses me one point, so I think it was the better way. There's some yellows. Still no red, not a single red in the whole game so far. No red in the bag. I'm just joking. There's never any red. I'll pay one and take these three. All right, pay one to take three. Yep. I can't place anything, so I reset. Take a break. And then refill the row. A red. I'll spend my last coin. Take those. Put a green, a red, and an orange. Then I'm gonna send two down here so I can pick each color and I get one, two, three, four. Shuffle them up. I'll take a green and a coin. Green and a coin. When you take one, you get a coin. Just going. Just picking one, was that green? Green, no, blue. Blue, blue, because you have two in there. Red. Thank Go ahead goodness. And steal it again. Well, I kind of want to. Oh, I forgot to turn this over, by the way. Last time I painted. A red. I need purple, blue, and yellow. Purple, blue, and yellow. I'm gonna take the blues and go one, two. 
I'm gonna move one here, score two points, one, two. And I flip this over, don't wanna forget this time. And then refill the bag. Wow, reds everywhere. I'm taking just the red. One red and a coin. Flip that over. Nice. Two blues. All right. And then fill the bag. Fill the row, I mean. Any coins. I'm going to take two yellows. Place this last one down here and I'll score yellows. So I get two more points. One, two. So you paint it green. I'm clear. Wow. Taking a break. They call that an agua da siesta. You had a bunch of people left over there, but you're like, yeah, you know what? We'll just take a break anyway. Look at the umbrellas. Appreciate it. If I can get something good that I need. Alrighty then. I'm gonna be taking a break, which means green and orange are gonna be up at the top. I'll take a yellow and I'll put it here. And then I'll get a coin. and then I'll take a break. And then one measly refill. Now, if you take a row with more umbrellas in it than you can fit, the extra ones go back into the bag. Mm -hmm. So you can take a row with three and put only one of them down. Mm -hmm. I'll pay one to take these. So you locked up those six points for the end of the game and all of your meeples are out. I just want to take a break. Okay. Fill that up. I need purple and I need yellow and there's yellow and there's orange in this row. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this here for sure. These two. So I flip this over. This comes out. Put this one right to work. Go there, get two points. One, two. Wow. 
now they're just mocking us. <laughs> they're mocking you. Mm -hmm. There might have been a discussion off camera where someone didn't believe there were as many reds as the other ones in the bag because that someone might have gotten burned in a previous game. What are you talking about? I'll take these two reds. All right, so no cost. One, two. I'll play here and here and get one, two, three, four, five. Take one, two. I'll put one here and score two oranges. That is not what I wanted. And neither of us has any money. <laughs> so we're not taking any of the three rows. I want none of that. Take a red. And a coin. And I will get... I mean, the same difference. All three. right, so red and yellow is three. One, two, three. Purple is what I need. I'll just take these two. So it flips over. You made pretty paintings, pretty paintings. Uh, I have no viable options to score. Uh, I got a yellow. Mm, I can take a break and play for the last turn. Yeah. Which is what I'm going to do. But you can only put two people down that time, right? But you have to yeah. make one more turn. It's not going to make that much of a difference because none of these are good for scoring. Yeah. That's how mine were. That's why I just kept, I had to break a couple of times to try to get them where I wanted them. I feel like our Wrong scores way. this time are going to be less than they were in the previous game. At least mine is. I think so. Okay. So you can either grab one, which won't trigger the end of the game, then I'll grab one and have to trigger the end game so you can you can get yourself two turns. I don't need another turn. I only have two spaces left and I know, I mean. If you can take an orange and a purple, which you can. I'm not going to. I've already got three points in orange and purple right there. What I want is the greens for these extra two points, but it's really the same difference. Correct. It's two points or two points. Mm -hmm. So. I could pay and take those three and get another purple and another orange, which gets me two points right away. Or I could pay for these three and put two greens down and not a purple. And then I get these two points later. Plus I still get three points right here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll pay and take these. I won't use this. Hmm. And I will score here, orange and purple, one, two, three. All right. You had taken the two greens. Well, you might have been able to prevent me from getting one extra point. It wouldn't matter I wasn't anyway. looking at you. Well, it doesn't matter anyway because the orange is there as well. I haven't played this game enough to be paying attention to what your points are. Yeah. Okay. Last turn of the game. Red. Green. I want the green. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to put this here because that's one of those, right? Mm-hmm. 
All right, so that's gone, doesn't matter. Uh, now I can score, and this row has one, two, three. Top row is the same one, no, top row only has two. So I'll go there and get one, two, three. So at the end of the game, we got one point difference. Yeah. All right, now we score here. Murals, we both get six because they're complete. Mm -hmm. Then score each of the three objectives in the market board. So let's start with this one. Score one point for each column that has three different colored umbrellas with one of these. One of those umbrellas matching this color. So three different colored umbrellas and one of the colors is green. One point for each column. So one, two, three for me. I have one, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. All right, you've opened up a lead. This one says, during final scoring, choose one of these two colors, then choose one row. Score one point for each umbrella in that row that matches that color. So either orange or blue. Right. So your max is three for that. Right. And my max is also... Yours is two. Two, yep. So you gain another point. So you get three. One, two, three. And what's this last one? Take all those colors. Count all the umbrellas on your board that match any of these colors, and then score points equal to half that amount rounded down. So it's yellow, red, and purple. Not good for me. I have eight, one. so I get four. And you had nine, uh -huh. so you also get four. That's ball game. You beat me by four. That was closer than the last time. Yes. All right, there you go. That is Aguada. Oh, and by the way, this token, when she finished, that would she would get that, and that would remind us that every other player gets one turn. This would be much more helpful when you're playing with more than two people. Okay. Yeah, right. In two-player game, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, well, that is our two-player game of Aguada. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel.